Hello, my chicklets. Welcome to day 29 of AU August. This one is our magic AU. Now, it is a part two to one of the stories I recorded during our May Flowers Month. So I'll make sure to have that link on the video so that you can check that out first if you haven't seen it. There is a minor content warning for something in the middle of the chapter. Make sure to check that out in the description below. Now, I'm going to read you part two to Blue Roses. Logan! Remus sang as he slid into the nerd's bedroom. Are you going to teach me magic now? After being caught in the kitchen heating a cup of water without the use of a kettle or microwave, Logan and Remus had had a long discussion. It had been nice to finally trust someone with a secret he had held so tightly before, but Remus had been rather insistent on trying to learn magic. Remus, it's 3 a.m., now it does not seem like the ideal time to be learning magic. You thought it was the ideal time to not get caught. And look where it got us. I don't know, Specs. Like, worked out fairly well on my end. Logan sighed. He had been avoiding this conversation for months. He knew that Remus wouldn't take it well. I simply don't believe it would be a good idea for me to teach you. And why not? He could hear the defensive ring in Remus's voice. Please, my reasons are altruistic, in a way. Logan hesitated, bouncing the pen he was holding in his hands. He had once again stayed up later than he intended. He knew it was bad for his health and his psyche, but too many nights he had been left up with the exact same question. I, I don't want to teach you, Remus, because I am afraid of you getting caught. Logan was afraid to catch sight of his friend afraid of the expression that might be written all over the man's face. Part of learning magic is learning to let it take over you, to reach out to it on instinct when you are in trouble. I've spent years trying to unlearn that to keep myself safe. I don't want to teach you because I don't want to teach you because I don't want you to get hurt. I... You are important to me. The room was filled with silence, and Logan wondered if Remus was going to hate him for saying no. He just couldn't be responsible if Remus was caught with action magic and hurt because of it. Logan could remember being just five years old when his father had been caught. They had moved, and his mother tried to protect him from what happened, but there was only so much that she could do once Logan learned how to use the internet. The images that went with the news article still haunted him. John Doe found hung in the forest. Logan wouldn't let that be Remus. You think too much. He could hear Remus sitting down on his bed, bouncing a bit. If you don't want to teach me, I won't push anymore, but have a little faith in me, Specs. Like I said, I'm used to hiding parts of myself. Logan finally turned to look at Remus, and there was a strange self-assurance in his shoulders that hid a life of pain. I know. And I am aware you are smart enough to talk yourself out of just about any situation, but I... I can't be the reason you get hurt. Remus laughed. You sap. Guilty. What about this? How about you teach me some stuff that could easily be written off as sleight of hand? Fake magician stuff. Then you can see how I do with that. If I don't meet your standards, I won't push. He looked so hopeful and Logan was weak to those sparkling green eyes. Fine. I will teach you one spell, if you can even cast magic. You might not have been born with the spark. Remus jumped up and pulled Logan into a tight hug. Yes! Thank you, Lo. This is going to be great. I'm going to become a super wizard. One spell, Remus. One. Yeah, yeah, for now. All right. Before bed... Let me teach you about invisible force. Logan pulled away, walking over to his bookshelf and pushing a few books aside before pulling out a black leather tome. It's one of the first ones I learned when I was a kid. The two sat down, looking over the book, Remus excitedly rocking as Logan taught him. Logan was the first to fall asleep, leaning against the bed frame. Remus was ready to follow him, but he wanted to try one more time. He concentrated on the book, forcing his energy, pulling it from his chest into his hands, 
releasing it into the world. The book flipped a page, standing in the air for just a moment before gravity took it down. A smile lit up his face as he yawned, and he leaned against Logan. He couldn't wait to show him in the morning. Thanks, Teach. Thank you again for listening. This was Day 29 of our AU August series, The Magic AU. I do hope y'all enjoyed it, and I hope you have a wonderful day.